Hola, amigos. Yeah. You're watching the Tommy 2010 talk show. But, uh, yeah. Spinning! Whee! <laughs> I'm dizzy right now. Where did we go? Oh my gosh, two Harleys. Oh my gosh, this is dirty. Mm, take a picture. Awesome. I have a question for you both. How much both was your costumes all together? I already answered that question. Well, okay, how much was your costume? I'd say around 150 once I put it all together. Awesome. Man, you just, you look stupendous. You look stupendous also. <laughs> oh, come on, really? A dab? You seriously? <laughs> just okay, let me get. Morning, guys. Oh, God, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. And I'm going to an anime convention, the Anime Regional, Anime Regional Asheville Convention. Uh, oh, we just woke up a little bit ago, and I'm going to that convention today, and we're going to have a great time. We're going to do a lot of vlog footage. Got a full charge on the camera. I'll see you guys there, and I'll catch you later. Bye. Late and later. My gosh. <laughs> we just came to see what it looked like in here, so we're going we're gonna to take off, man. But uh, it's been yeah, live. Thank you. It's oh, you're hilarious. That what? Was the quickest convention I've ever Yo, the fastest way to get home, just walk down the interstate. Oh, you're funny. That's a straight shot. People will recognize you. You're Tommy yeah. NC2010. You'll get a ride. You guys want to come out and look at the place? Okay, nope. sure. Hey guys, we're at the Asheville Anime Regional Convention again this year. I'm here as press, and we're reporting on one of the most electrifying events every single year. And we're back here again, folks. So, what we're going to do is we're going to walk down in here. Yeah. After party in Tommy's apartment. After party in Tommy's apartment. He's got his own apartment. No parents. After party. Listen, man, don't bully him. He's a big boy now. There's gonna be acid and all hey, kinds dude, of stuff. Hey, dude, this guy's standing up to the trolls, man. Yeah, man. Dude, now that's what's up. Subscribe, support, stay positive. We're having a good time here at the Asheville Regional Anime Convention. This year in Asheville, we're having a great time. And we'll, uh, I'll get another shot, we'll get on the floor. So folks, I'll catch you later, bye! Are you confused because he just pet your tie? Yeah. It looks like a leopard. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I was rubbing his belly. It says cosplay is not consent. That means just because he's wearing cosplay costume of Tommy NC 2010, doesn't mean that you can actually touch him or try to like instigate some kind of sexual act. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Hamza. Yeah, you have to ask somebody to take a picture. You have to ask them, hey, can I take your picture? And they're like, yeah, sure. So you can't just randomly walk around and record like you're doing? So folks, we're back here again. And here we are in the convention hall. All sorts of people dressed up. We've got all sorts of merchandise being sold. And uh, everything is looking awesome. And just look at everybody. It's just like, just look at this. It is totally awesome. Like, we got all sorts of merchandise around here. All sorts of people having a good time. What do we got here, sir? We have a mobile escape room. Oh, really? Yeah, so this is our mobile pirate escape room, the Conundrum, as well as Asheville Plays partnered together in order really? to make it. Yeah, and uh, so uh, in this, you have to find out why the Flying Dutchman uh, sailed into the stormy seas oh, really? so that you can break his curse and help these fine gentlemen as well as yourselves escape the ship. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Yeah. yeah that so, sounds cool. I'll check out at some point during. How long are you going to be here during the whole convention today? Uh, yeah, we'll be here until 7 o'clock. Awesome, awesome. Awesome, yeah. Yep. Thanks a lot, man. You too. They got all these awesome, awesome anime cars here with characters on them. This is awesome here. Got somebody on stage here. The two of my favorite and best ones that I've done. And again, I just want to show you that idea of try you know. Tommy, Tommy. Tommy, 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 Tommy. I wish. After Tommy. party, yeah. Tommy. <laughs> What's that? Do you want to do one? What's the bit? You just keep the keep the camera. On. 
All right, what's going on, Hamza? Yo, man, I was just checking out some of these fidget spinners. They actually have like one that's like a batarang. What is a batarang, by the way? It goes into your face if Batman doesn't like you. Dude, that's messed up. But also, they got a PlayStation one. Ooh. PlayStation. PlayStation. Ma'am, if you could slide us a couple fidget spinners, we could slide you a free pass into the after party, which is at Tommy NC 2010's apartment. So it would be like kind of a quid pro quo or addendum, uh, you know, making oh, we a out the chair, making the exchange. Uh oh, somebody fell out of the chair. <laughs> what is it going to? <laughs> <laughs> I think I got that on video. <laughs> Hi. I, I so kinda... these chairs flip up. <laughs> you go sit down. <laughs> right there, Tommy. Would you give me one for coming here? This is Hamza. Whoa! Whoa! Choke our beans! I love that. That's, 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 that's a little too sexual, man. We're supposed to be friends, man. We are friends. Well, choking someone on the neck is that's a. That's oh, that's just that's my appreciation of you, man. See, as soon as I told him it was a sexual thing, he actually reached to do it to my real life body. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Let's let's go check out some anymore. more of the uh, yeah AARC. Oh my God. We got the T Rex in the building. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I've always, I've always wanted to buy one of those T-Rex costumes and just like walk around Black Mountain. I'll be here all day, hanging out, talking with people. I will get some interviews with some cosplayers. Hopefully I'm hoping that one guy, that one uh, Deadpool might come back this year. The guy I interviewed, he was a good friend of mine. I haven't talked to him in a while. I hope he comes back. I hope they interview him and uh, see how he's been doing. So folks, I'll catch you later. We're at the Asheville Anime Convention. It's awesome. It's going to be cool. And I uh, hope you can join me. Shall you? Catch you later, folks. Guys, remember this gentleman? He was from the Halloween vlog when I went to the Haunted Farm. Like when we went to Denny's. He was in the vlog segment when we hung out with him. How you been doing, man? Oh, yeah, pretty good. So what brings you out to Asheville? Oh, well, there's not much, to, uh, not much to get around to in the Asheville Anime Region as I mentioned. It just um, happens and then just, yes. So you do impressions, do you? Yeah. Let's hear some more. Uh, so, um, reality is an illusion. The universe is hologram. Bye, go, bye. Uh, what's that one? Uh, Bill Cipher, Gravity Falls. Awesome. And then just sit there and uh, I've been trying to get down Zim, but I can't quite do it. But it's really easy to do the, um, it's like, um, girl, reporting for duty. <laughs> girl, what does the G stand? I don't know. <laughs> it seems kind of stupid. It's not stupid, it's advanced! <laughs> oh, you're awesome, dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I've just been rocking it on YouTube and... Uh, oh, right on. I was walking up and I saw this gentleman and said, I remember him from Denny's. Yeah. And but, uh, you know, the funny thing is I called that waitress Satan and everybody was like calling her Satan. Oh my God. And I was like, I didn't know that that's what her name was. No, it's not. Her name is Charlotte. But Charlotte? I'm sure she. Uh, I'm sure she's like, yeah, we'll go with that. Because uh, everyone was like, yeah, Satan. And then I went, hi, Satan. Excuse me. I'm like, that's what everybody else called you. <laughs> oh my God. So are you gonna go back? Uh, did you, are you gonna be going back to the? Do you go to the haunted farm at all? Uh, I haven't made it out there. I'm on a moped, so it's usually outside and like. Uh, yeah, they're good. I, I know one of the guys that works down there, and uh, they're going to be having a lot of awesome things down there this year in, in October. Right on. But it's nice talking with you, man. Oh, yeah. Think. So, yeah, that guy, he, like, he's awesome. He's funny. <laughs> so, we're going to get some shots of the uh, all the businesses here. Hey, show your phone's ringing. Let me guess, you're here as ramen. Yes, I am. I'm going to look for you. Awesome, boss. What is it, Tommy NC? Um, Tommy NC 2010. 
Tommy Okay. Thank you. Hope you can subscribe. Okay. You become a Tommy head. What does the fox say? Pika 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 Ah, uh, Pokemon. Yes. Hey folks, let me show you the view for uh, just everything around here in Nashville. Okay? You're gonna, it's good, it's beautiful. I'm enjoying myself. We'll get some interviews um, in this vlog. This is the day vlog. And uh, we're just going to get lots of interviews. And uh, we're going to have a great day today. And I'll catch you later, folks. I can't believe Mickey. you're having an after party. <laughs> so, yeah, so the after party, what time is after it starting? Yeah. Um, what time should we tell people that? Uh, I don't know exactly. <laughs> Jeez. So we're here with a, a cosplayer and he created these masks and so what's your name man? Uh, my name's Draven. Draven? So uh, how long does it take to particularly make one of these masks? Um, well, from beginning to start, uh, usually it would take you up to three weeks but since I was on a tight budget and also I didn't have professional equipment, I made the mold for the mask out of clay then I put plaster on top of that so I got the outside of the or the in, outside of the face, and then I put more clay into that, more plaster onto that, and then I pour more plaster into that, and then I, I this is the outcome. Uh, the nose is made of foam, so I or I bought stuff at Michaels and painted up red and stuck it on the top hat or the uh, the party hat. Um, it's just a party hat that I put together. Um, I didn't make this, I didn't make that. Um, but the marionette mask I made myself out of plastic. Um, wow, that's it was, awesome. It was pretty easy, I guess. Um, it cost me like $100, though. Um, this one cost me $22, weirdly enough. So this was less expensive, even though it's a better quality. Really? Um, Does it get ever sweaty and hot in there? Yes. I'm wearing two masks. Um, I couldn't. I didn't have enough time to uh, glue teeth into it, so I had to wear this underneath it, which is it, it's hard to breathe through, and also it's really hard to talk. Um, it's interesting it's I don't know it has its issues but all together this is the first year I've actually made a decent costume past two years was like the day before I threw it together but I've been making these for five months um, so last year you were the Joker and like your eyes got really red yeah I did some of the black paint got into them that was awful ow yeah I, was, I saw your agony I said dude your eyes are red oh shit there's a marshmallow I don't know, anyways so uh yeah, I mean, <laughs> That's one of the funniest things ever. No, no, seriously, there's a marshmallow. Oh my god. Nice. That's a marshmallow? It's a, it's a duck tip artist. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, any more questions? Uh, no, but you know, I want to say it's an honor to meet you guys. You guys are a group of awesome bunch here. and. Uh, Hell yeah, man. Nice and, to meet you, Tommy. And, uh, See you the second year in a row. Yeah, I, I wanted to come down, and uh, I love meeting everybody down here. And I hope you guys have a great day, okay? Okay, man. So, Superman, how are you doing it today? I'm doing great, Susan. How are you? Doing good. Now, do you feel sometimes selfish that you have powers? Not really, no. Uh, about, wait, selfish? Selfish. <laughs> Sorry, I messed up. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God, I'm trying to figure out this out. So, are you actually that strong, Superman? Well, I'm only as strong as I need to be, honestly. I only have to use so much strength. If I use it all, well... Ah, so why do you hate Batman so much, by the way? I don't hate Batman, he's just... Batman's not necessarily the type of person you want to see in the dark alley, let's That's just say that. <laughs> he was raised differently, he saw different stuff than I know. Uh, well, Superman, thank you for this interview. Thank you. Ah! I have to be careful with that. Ah! Man of Steel! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it was 
awesome. Video. <laughs> Amen. Ah, ah! Awesome, awesome. You look awesome. Thank you. It's cool to see somebody do like the Kamehameha wave. There's Hamza. Hans is ridiculous sometimes. My friend here, Fashionly uh, late. His, his name is Busta Cooliano. No, my name is Tommy NC2010. Oh, I thought it was Busta Cooliano. No, it's not. Wow, that's it. Fact. But, uh, what about, uh, Pita, 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 Chu. Totoro. No Totoro? Uh, right now, all the merch you can get is ridiculously overpriced. And the main reason is the company that releases it in America is a company called Gun. Um, all of the movies, though, are released actually by Disney. They have the publication rights for all of the movies. So when you buy a DVD or a Blu-ray, if you look at it, it says Disney Publications on the back of it. They're fighting for the merchandise rights right now. Disney is the Illuminati. Basically, yeah. And, the Illuminati know, is what made us be what we are. Yeah. It's 50-50. If you they realize do realize you would be in like a loin cloth, eating ants out of uh, right uh, an hill. But it's like 30 to 40 dollars. wasn't for the Illuminati. And I have a hard time kind of targeting Skeptics. that, so I just choose not to carry it. I don't blame you. That's that's yeah. a good ethical decision, I think, for, you know, your own presentation. Also, shout out to John fun. Fierce. John, I wanted to buy this for you, but I couldn't because I don't have the money right now. But I wanted to get this for you, John. But I really didn't have the money. But really, I wanted to get this for you, buddy. But I can't, sadly. 20 bucks a pop. You know what I'm saying? But they're good quality, dude. You know, awesome quality, dude. What's your business, guys? Bead Weaver. Ah, check them out, folks. Check them out. Get the top quality from them. So as I was walking through, I found some Tommy heads. So how long have you guys been subscribed for? Um, just a few months. Yeah. I think maybe six months. Which one is your favorite video? I really like the one, it's kind of old, but you went to Black Mountain to buy a newspaper, the Susan Times. Oh, thank you so much. But I really like that. Thank you so much, I and I, I appreciate you guys being Tommy heads, I mean, subscribers, and I appreciate it. Did you make it. A, a Batman vs Superman video, like, review or whatever? What? Did you make like, a Batman vs Superman review? Yeah, with my friend Crystal. Uh oh, yeah, we review. Yeah, we did. We did a movie review, and we did it on the lake. Yeah, that was that was really cool. Yeah. yeah, it was her idea. She wanted to do that on the lake, and I was like, "Are you sure?" She's like, "Yeah, I want to do something different." I'm like, "Okay, let's do that." Yeah, I think more YouTubers are just like, just have random like back backdrops, like go random places into a review because it makes it a lot more interesting. Yeah, like, she's thought. YouTubers they just stick to the same like formula. Yeah. Of content creation. She's she's told me that we should do that. You know, sometimes we get busy in our lives, we don't get to do a, a movie review a lot. But uh, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I really love your positivity and your Oh yeah, enthusiasm. it's like very inspirational. Thank you so much. Anyway, Thank you so much, guys. You have a great day. You too. Take care. How much is he? He should be... He's on the back. $20.
We'll work you out a deal if you want it. How's 10? How about 1250. 1250? Yeah. Hmm. So folks, I got the Jared Little Joker right here stuffed in my top pocket here and as you know I worked a good deal out for him and uh, had, you know worked out a good deal to get him I want to show you my toys which really I'm not gonna show you my toys because they'll never show you my toys yeah but yeah I'm sitting here I'm kind of stuck on my charger right now because it's charging right now. Like it's almost dead. So it's always good. Hey, do do do, a fa do me a favor. If you go to a convention, a YouTube convention, always bring your chargers because any of your any of your uh, devices, cameras, cell phones can go dead and uh, it's always good to bring backups bring up a, ba a backup battery uh, so you don't have to charge it and uh, so you know remember to stay positive and always bring backups for everything when you go to conventions especially like a three-day convention you know so you always can do recording and uh, everything so folks I'll catch you later uh, hello, hello. Sorry. Hey folks, it's me Tommy. You know there's characters all around and once in a while you run into a person that's absolutely original. Like me. You know, like it likes to wear a special thing. Her name is Sierra and she's a wonderful lady and I want to introduce you to her. Hello Sierra. So, do you dress like this all the time? Um, yes, but I actually have a really eclectic style, so I dress like this a lot of the time, but then sometimes I dress completely different. How, how crazy does it get sometimes where you dress? Um, I have people accuse me of wearing costumes all the time, so... Really? You walk in the groceries, people will say, like, why are you wearing a costume? Yeah. Tell them to mind their own business and be like, it's my style. But I gotta say, you have a lovely style, by the way. And you should see my hair when it's down, because it's like, uh, probably almost to my ankles now. Wow. What do you do for work? I work at a library. That's awesome. You're a librarian, and you got style. Wow, thank you so much. Folks, I'm here with two cosplayers. So, who are you guys supposed to be? I'm Virgil from Devil May Cry 3. And I'm Dante from Devil May Cry 3. Wow. We're twins. So, how much time did it take you guys to make your costumes? Five and a half months for me. Five and a half months? Yes. Over a year for me. Wow. <laughs> I how hand stitched all of this. So, how much did it cost you all together? Mine only costed $60 in total because I hand made everything. Wow. $60? <laughs> yeah. $100 all together. Wow. Maybe even less, possibly, I'm not sure. I how long have you guys been coming to the event? Uh, this, this is our, our first one. one. First one? <laughs> yeah. Really? Well, that's awesome. It's nice to meet you, ladies. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you ladies have a great day. You too. Well, that's awesome. So we're here in the game room where people can play board games and everything. We have people all through here playing all sorts of fun board games here at the also the anime regional convention here in Asheville. Everybody's having a great time here. A joyful time. All sorts of these board games you can play here in this room and purchase and just sit down and have fun and play cards with your friends and just have a joyful time and uh, just enjoy the day. If you're bored you can find yourself something to do. You see you can have fun any any place you go in this convention. So, if you ever find if you ever find yourself in this area, come down to the Asheville Anime Convention and you'll have a great time. So, yeah, have a great time, and I'll catch you a little later, folks. Uh, it's 
changed. And plus, the other guy that I met here last year uh, is Deadpool. I don't think he made it, made it this year. I was I'm kind of sad because he was he was a cool guy. You guys remember him? I interviewed him. So, folks, catch you a bit later. Hey, folks, you remember what I was telling you about the guy that I interviewed as Deadpool? Well, guess what? I just came across him. Say hello to Chris. What's up? How you been doing, Chris? Pretty good. Who are you dressing up as today? Ichigo. Ichigo? From Bleach. Never seen it. What? Not much. I'm an anime fan, but I'm a typical Dragon Ball Z fan slash, you know, I get I dabble in different animes, but typically it's kind of the animes that are like Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy oh, Bebop. Cowboy Bebop's awesome anime. Yes. Uh, wait, Cowboy Bebop and Dragon Ball Z don't are nowhere near related to each other, <laughs> except for that they're animes. Yeah. Bleach and Dragon Ball Z is more related to each other. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is Chris right yeah. here. Long time no see, you two. Yes, and <laughs> we interviewed you last time. By the way, I got my studio completely fixed up. Did now. you? Got me a couch. I got me a Yeti microphone now. Oh, that's what's up. So now it looks highly professional now. And then yeah. I got. Yeah. I just uh, yeah, I just didn't want to wear uh, Deadpool. Uh, Deadpool today. And then like peel grease off your face. Yeah. Well, I actually worked today, and then I just got off work a little bit ago. Yeah. And I didn't want to have to run home, put all that stuff on, and Oof. then come out here. So this is actually light. I made this out of the sheet. Wow, that's awesome, dude. It's so comfortable. That's it's like, awesome, man. It's, it, it's like wearing a bathroom. Wow. Sexy. I was just being funny. Oh, I know. Sexy, and I know it. <laughs> Catch you later, folks. Bye. Dungeon wear. That's me, brother. Find wearable art for the average adventurer. That's me. Which is not you. You're an above average adventurer. You're the heavyweight MTV's made heavyweight <laughs> Comedy Central Tosh.0 oh, heavyweight YouTube heavyweight uh, Facebook heavyweight, heavyweight MySpace heavyweight. <laughs> I don't even use my MySpace heavyweart. anymore. Heavyweight heavyweight, dude. <laughs> we got all my original Champion. art. All one of a kind things. Awesome. Blossom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and I you. may. I may. Uh, Get in contact you make a custom picture. Check yeah, can I pizza. tempt you with sexy pizza? I don't know. That's Cassandra Rigatoni. She I may have to girl. blur that out. <laughs> I know it was a bit cheesy. I know, I know. <laughs> what, what, what can you say? I'm in love with pizza. I'm in love with pizza. She's creating a real love triangle between me and my wife. Triangle. Because <laughs> the pizza's a You got it. All original stuff. Awesome blossom. Thank Let's you guys. This is the prime highlight of your video. Sweet. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. So how long have you guys been cosplayers for? Uh, a couple years. A couple years? How much did all this cost together just to get your costumes all put together? Uh, I don't know. We don't really keep track of it. Oh really? I just gotta say you guys you guys have an A for effort for me. Thanks. Like awesome. You guys are doing an amazing job. You guys keep being awesome, okay? May I ask who might you be? I'm Yukio. Awesome costume by the way. Thank you. And let me guess, Luffy. Yes, the one and only. Well, besides the four others, we have yet to fight to the death. Uh, apparently there's there was some people upset because Luffy apparently now has a white suit now or something like that. A white suit? I don't know, I heard something and about... Film gold. Huh? And film gold. And film gold, he has a white yeah. suit. And he wears two hats. Why? He has, he has his fancy hat that they gave him, and he has a straw hat behind him. He has to have a straw hat. Yeah, that's why. He's like, I like this hat, but I also like this hat. So it's messed up. <laughs> you guys look awesome. Thank you. Hey, appreciate it. Which one, uh, which one is Goku and which one is Gohan? Gohan. Goku with the haircut. Yep, always sacrificing his son to the to sell. Mm -hmm. You guys watch Team? Yeah, yeah, you you want to you want to die. <laughs> you watch uh, Team? You've been watching Team Four Star? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. Have, have you seen Destructo Dish? Never works. Time, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> How does this blasted thing work? Oh, I'll just kill you with my Destructo Dish. Lame. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> I love it.
well, it's one of my favorite. It's one of my of my favorite shows. What's your, okay? I got a question for you. What's your favorite thing about this convention? Everything. Um. I mean. The, the uh, cosplay. Yeah. Probably all the costumes and just yeah. everyone getting together. You know. Oh, that's just awesome. That. Yeah. Well, I'm glad. Well, you guys have fun. Yeah. Thank you. you too. Folks, I had to do this for you. But you got Vegeta. What does it not but can we stop at the Buck Planet? If it will shut you up for five seconds, Napa. Yay! Vegeta was out. Shut up, Napa. So folks, we're with the great Saiyan Man. Greetings, citizens! How much was how much did it cost to make all this? How much costumes? Oh um, well, I went I bought my costume and there was about seventy. $70? Yeah, the whole thing. I had to remake this though because uh, there's different trouble. Really? Um, I had to redo the belts and uh, redo the what the thing. Well, I gotta say, this looks so awesome. Thank you so much. And I actually know the identity of the great Saiyan man. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm the hero of justice. Gohan. I'm um, um, away. <laughs> the best, sir? I'm Slade Wilson, aka Deathstroke, the Terminator. Wow. Now my question is, how much did all this cost together? Uh, I think I spent maybe 40 bucks on it. I made it all myself. All this so. is 40 dollars? Yeah, I bought all the material and made it myself. Wow, that's awesome, folks. That is simple right there. All, all this is 40 dollars. How about that? That is amazing. You're not trying to blow steam up our rear rings, are you? Yeah, no, no. I ser seriously made it all myself. That is awesome. You got a truly awesome costume. Pink. Catch you later, folks. All sorts of events that you can just have fun and have a good time. And all sorts of people having just a joyous time here. And you can see all sorts of, all sorts of things you can do here at the anime convention. Sorry, huh? So, what exactly is this event, ma'am? Uh, we're doing a make your own uh, plushie kit panel. Oh, really? We're teaching you, we give you a kit. It includes everything you need to make your very own little pancake plushie. Oh, uh -huh. that's awesome, ma'am. We feel like you everyone have... should know how to make their own. Oh, that's awesome. You have a great day. You too. So who are you dressed up like, ma'am? Wendy. Wendy from Wendy? Yes. That's awesome, by the way. Thank you. How much did all this cost? Um, around $118. $118, that's yeah. awesome. Yes. You keep being awesome, okay? Okay, thank you. So who are you supposed to be exactly? I'm Princess Serenity from Sailor Moon. Oh my gosh, you look so awesome. How thank much did this, all this cost? Um, well... This was just my wedding dress, so I originally bought this dress for like eight hundred dollars, and then I altered it for maybe twenty. Well, I have to say you look mildly gorgeous. Thank you. Are you with her? I just wanted to give her a quick hug because I haven't I love seen you. her in a long time. I love you, sweetie. You look beautiful as Thank always. You. I will see you around. Who are you supposed to be? Um, I'm Yoko. I am Yoko from Grin Lagan. How much did all this cost? Uh, like zero dollars. Well, that's awesome. Right, I love it. I love it when I can see when some people have to spend zero dollars to make a costume. <laughs> but it's awesome to meet you. Thank you. Catch you later, folks. So, who are you exactly? I am Celtic from the Rock and Rock. Is it hot wearing that thing? Oh, the convention? It kind of is. Especially been, the jacket. I've been watching you walk through the convention. I'm like, where how hot is this? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hot. How much did it cost to make this one? Uh, probably Maybe around 75 bucks. 75 yeah. bucks? Yeah, that's the helmet material and everything. Wow, that's awesome there. And it's street legal. Well, it was an honor reading you, man. Yeah, same to you. Thank you. Thank you. Catch you later, folks. So who might you be? Hi, uh, my name's Anna May, sadly. Anna May? Anna May. <laughs> A-N-N-A-M-A-E. I'm Chris. <laughs> what are you supposed to be today? Um, I'm cosplaying Hanako Kosaka from Love Live, which is like an idol anime. It's a cult. Bro. Yeah. Um, how much did all this cost? Um, the wig was about 30. Uh, the outfit was about... <laughs> so 
in total, probably like, like 130 bucks. 130 yeah. bucks? Yeah. Wow. Just gotta say, you look awesome. Thank you. You do too. And remember to subscribe to Tommy and C2010. I will. Hey, subscribe to my channel too. What's your channel? Shout it out. Anime Cosplays. <laughs> Anime Cosplays. Check her out, folks. Check her out. Catch you later, folks. So who might you be? Uh, Bakugo. <laughs> From Bakugo. Academia. How much did all no, this cost? Uh, this uh, round cost. I don't know. I, how much do you think? At least a hundred, because I messed up a lot. Yeah, I went through a lot of them. A <laughs> hundred dollars, wow. But well, you're awesome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Catch you later, folks. Folks, I'm here with... Warpool. Warpool. And... Hi! Hi, Harley. Hi! <laughs> How was... May I ask, is this exactly? Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars? Yep. Sorry, I don't know if my camera can hear you. Yeah, that's pro that's the problem with most of these masks is they don't. Uh, I can't articulate too well in them. <laughs> but you look awesome, dude. Thank you very much. It's so awesome. Who are you? Now I'm just gonna guess Punisher. How much was your costume? I might have to do that. Not cheap. Not cheap. We're probably talking somewhere in the neighborhood of five, six hundred dollars. Man, this is awesome, dude. You are to the T awesome. Uh, how much, who are you exactly? I'm my own version of Mad Hatter. Mad Hatter? How much was your whole costume? Um, not very much. I made most of it myself. Really? That's awesome, sir. <laughs> oh, jeez. Who are you supposed to be? I'm Amaterasu from the video game Okami. Oh, really? How much was your costume? Um, I made most, I made pretty much all of it myself with a little help from my husband. Ah. Um, roughly, we would probably be about maybe a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars for the for the materials. Awesome. I'm guessing you must be poison ivy. Indeed, medieval poison ivy. How much was your? I've been asking everybody this. How much did we spend on all of this? <laughs> wow, Just, you are awesome. You guys all be awesome. Okay. Thank you. I've just been, you know, slowing down. I'm just like, Aah. so. Oh, by the way, yes, this whole co this whole costume. This was like at least twelve dollars. Who are you supposed to be? Me and myself. <laughs> I really want a pinstripe suit. I don't like suits, but I I look good in pinstripes. Really? Yeah, I, I don't know why. Everybody's getting ready for the costume contest, am I right? Yep. How much was your costume? Like 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Yeah, I just got a key and a couple of gloves. Awesome blossom, dude. Yeah, I took Taekwondo for a little while, so I already had the key and stuff. And I'm like, I'm going to go ahead and buy another, cut off the sleeves and a little bit off the pants. Can you give us a formation? Like a Dolkin. Ah. A Dolkin. <laughs> that's awesome, dude. You know, that's kind of like a command melee, by the way. It is. But everybody looks awesome. You look awesome, dude. Thank you. <laughs> dude, you look awesome. <laughs> How much was your costume? <laughs> you don't talk much, do you? <laughs> but you look awesome, you know that? You really do. So what does he do exactly? No face? No. The Ghibli movie? Spirited Away. I was about to say, I think it might be Spirited Away. Yeah, Spirited Away. I need to see that. I hear it's really good. It is fantastic. But you look awesome, dude. <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? Revy from Black Lagoon. You look awesome, by the way. How much is your costume? Um, and twenty five bucks. Twenty five bucks. Wow. I love it when when you when people go cheap on their costume. Well Revy's one of those. It's kind of an easier cosplay. This is my first uh, like Comic Con. So. That's your gun? Yeah. It's an airsoft gun, am I right? Yeah. 
That's awesome, by the way. Ah, oh, I left the clip home, I see. But awesome, Blossom. All right. You have a great night. Folks, look who it is. It's Carrie. My old friend Carrie from the comedy club. You know, and I thought, you know what? How have you been doing, man? Been good. How's good. the comedy club been doing? Comedy's good. We're strong. Getting ready for the festival. Oh really? Yeah. You know, I need to come I need to come down there at some point. I can't get somebody to get me to take me down there. I live in town now, I live in an apartment, but I never can find like a ride. You live down. out still out in Black Mountain? Yeah, I live out in Black Mountain. Alright, alright. Well but, get a ride, dude. Come out. I would come love to the disclaimer. Yes. Do some funny stuff. <laughs> yeah, and this time, don't worry, I'll, I'll ask all the comedians if they want to be featured in the vlog so I don't have the angry Conan O'Brien. Oh, yeah, the Murphy. Yeah, it's probably best to get permission. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, come out. Film yeah. yourself. Do yes. funny things. I will. Make things for the vlog. What, but what are you, he, he, uh, come down to the Southern on Wednesdays at what time? Like 9.30. 9 to come down around 9.30. It doesn't start until like 10.30ish. Sometimes you guys get late. Nah, it starts about 9.30, 9.45. I've come to it sometimes, man. It doesn't like start until like 11 sometimes. No, it starts about 9.30, 9.45. Okay, sorry, man. I'm not trying to rip on you. I mean, you can come at 11, but we will probably be an hour in. Yeah. Go for it. But the best thing to do is get there early and uh, sign up on the list. It's not just you go on stage. You actually sign up for the event and uh, you are a recognized comedian. And, and the more you come to the event, they will uh, pull you on. Since they know me, you know, I put, my, I put my name on the list and I'll go up halfway on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like if you're there a lot and supporting things, then yeah, we notice and you go up. Yeah. And we've got, I don't know, 20 to 30 comedians. And, uh, sorry, I need to look at that. And, uh, yeah, you get five minutes. Five minutes. Do whatever minutes. you want. Whatever. I've done a few comedy bits, a few good comedy bits myself. Yeah. I've, I've done, I, I did one day, it was uh, one I, I was like really drunk. I didn't record myself, but I was like really tore it up. Oh yeah, After you gotta four, record the drunken sets, four, man. That way you remember them. <laughs> After four yeah. Hogan runs, I did that one. <laughs> so I folks, remember that one. This is my buddy, and uh, check out the Southern on Wednesday if you live here in Nashville. Catch you later, folks. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? How you doing? I understand you're selling your shoe. Yeah, I'm selling stuff. Um, let me see if I have anything for you. Ah, shoot. I don't have any money. If I would buy your I would buy your shoe. Don't have any money, man. But you seriously, you try to sell your shoe and your hat and your cell phone? Huh? You you are you selling your are you actually trying to sell your cell phone, dude? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, sure. <laughs> How much would you sell the cell phone for? Just curious. Uh, 1200. 1200? Okay, how much would you sell your hat for? You don't know? You should really think about prices before you start selling things, man. Okay. You have a license to sell, by the way? Yeah. You don't look like you have a license to sell. It's right here. It looks like you're, uh... Sir, I'm going to have to shut you down. You're going to have to leave, sir. I'm sorry. I'm running uh, this convention here. You're going to have to leave, sir. Uh, <laughs> so we're here with Steven. Steven, what are you supposed to be today? I'm a Jedi. I literally got this because it was way too much of a hassle to be carrying the blade at the same time. Oh, really? Yeah, this is my lightsaber. Ah, uh, jeez, awesome, dude. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Yeah. But how much was your whole costume? How much? Yeah. Well, really, the only thing I paid for was when I when I got this part here last year. Really? And my dad gave me this and the shoes. Well, awesome, dude. I hope you have fun today. Yeah. <laughs> See you, man. See ya. Wow, you have such an awesome costume. What character are you supposed to be? Annie. Ah, okay. You watched the Team Four Star version? No. Ah, okay. But how much was your costume altogether? Um, I'm not 
not sure. I think these are made of cardboard, and then I just already have clothes besides the jacket, so probably right. around $50. $50? Oh, okay. Well, awesome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you. Well, how are you doing there, madam? I'm fine, you. Doing good? I have a question for you. How much was your costume altogether? Uh, around 60. Around 70. 60? Awesome, blossom. You look amazing in the Harley outfit, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, you just look awesome. And Mr. J, how are you doing, That's sir? my Mr. All right. J. <laughs> you look awesome also. How much was your costume? Loki, I don't even know why you're in this universe. Well, it costs far more mortal money than you can understand. <laughs> I don't know how to calculate that. Well, we're both mischief, so I would say 60 to 70 of your Earth money, whatever country we're in. It's called bills. It's called money bills. Okay, money bills. Isn't technically Loki a man? Not the Ragnarok arc after. Not anymore. <laughs> Actually, in the comics, no. Even the Ragnarok arc afterwards, after they get their souls sucked out of them, I got reincarnated as a female. Not exactly happy about it, but I'm going with it. Yeah, now, I'm uh, since attractive. you're Logie, now, like, what was your opinion about when you technically gave your powers to a mask and let the humans wear it for a while? What was your, what, you know, what was your opinion about that? was a different time. I was in my teenage years. I did stupid things. <laughs> Everybody goes through a phase. <laughs> Can I see the picture? Well, oh. how, what is your character supposed to be first? Uh, Briska. Briska? From Homestuck. How much is your, how much is your, your costume all together? <laughs> well over a hundred probably. Wow. Man, how much is yours? What? How much is your whole costume together? Uh, I don't know if you want to include blood, sweat, and tears of poor children. No, um, uh, I, I'd say under $50. Really? Yeah. Now, um, how long have you run this convention? I guess I understand that you uh, you run everything. Yep, it's our, it's our fourth year. Fourth year? I have to say you guys have done a very good job, and it's very very entertaining. I want to say you've done a very good job, and I appreciate you doing this. Yeah, thank and, you. Uh, we, I love coming to this convention, it's fun. Yeah, it gets a little bit bigger every year, and you know, it really wouldn't be anything without all the people that participate and come and cosplay. The costumes get better every year. Yeah. And, um, I mean, we've got anime cars, like, how awesome is that? Yes, it is. So, that's awesome. Cool. Thank you, man. Yeah, no problem. Woo! I, I thought you said 300 I was like, what? Look at this guy, $3,800. Yeah, right? No, I was asking if you were a rogue. Oh, kind of. We put mine together as a combination of his and my stuff last year. It looks good. It looks like you're walking around with like a paladin. You got a rogue. Hey, you have a bug on your face. Thank you. I like to have bugs on my face, so... You have him in your life, so what do you expect? He's already a bug in my life, so, and he's in my face 24 7. So <laughs> hey, folks, so I don't know how much footage is left. I think it's like 92 more, 92 more minutes of footage, at least on this camera. So there's going to be like a uh, costume party, a costume contest. I'm going to try to film as much as I can, get as much footage as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Excuse me. No problem. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this convention. And uh, I, I want to do more conventions like this. This is fun. And I uh, hope we can raise enough money for playlists so I can go there. I hope. Catch you later, folks. This is the 
all the people lined up for the contest, the costume contest for 2017. So here's our lineup. Let's see who is the best winner in costume. Here we go. Here's our audience. It's time to electrify. There's the security. And 2017 Anime Convention. Hello, gentlemen. Where are you supposed to be? Where are you two supposed to be? Uh, two first. Um, well, we kind of put this together around half last minute. It ended up being pretty similar to a uh, slightly Middle Easternish assassin. How much was your costume altogether, sir? It was thrown together from pieces uh, uh, I had over at the house. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's, yours it's was... It's a combination of his and my stuff. Yeah. So. Yours is free. Okay. And yours was about, you said $300? About $3,800, $3,800. Uh, basically, I, I drew out this design. Everything metal you see here was wow. a custom sketch that I sent to Steel Mastery, which is a Ukrainian blacksmith. Wow. Uh, he does a lot of custom work, so he was the ideal candidate. Uh, he took up the commission uh, a year later. He, he sent this in. It's forged of 12, I'm sorry, 14 gauge cold gold steel. Wow. It's thicker in the middle than it is on the sides. It's historically accurate. It's got pitch backing, which prevents sweat from permeating into the metal. All right. Uh, you have full free range movement. Wow, dude, you are technical awesome. Uh, the crest is a mural that you can find in the London Museum of Art and Armor. Wow. Uh, it depicts St. George slaying a dragon with his lance. Um, it's made of solid brass, hand etched. Uh, of course, the sword is a Persian shamshir. Um, the shamshir is a Middle Eastern blade. Yes. Adopted to the Ottoman Empire, the Turkish, and wow. eventually the... Uh, um, Brain fart. Uh, what do you do for work, dude? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I do security, but uh, this is my hobby is collecting armor. I have, I have many suits. Uh, wow. The way they forge this is actually rather interesting. Um, they'll take a 1050, uh, I'm sorry, 1095 round stock, we'll hammer mm -hmm. it out, wow. sandwich it between two layers of 1050 round stock, forge them together. That'll give it a hard edge. Jeez. While the center is still malleable metal, allowing you to flex the blade up to 75 degrees without destroying it <laughs> or breaking it. Um, it's one and a half pounds, allows for swift cut. Mind if I hold it? Uh, it's piece tied. Oh, it's piece tied? Yeah, they won't it's... let me take it out. It's razor sharp, so. Wow. Uh, and other than that, this is a steel buckler. Uh, it Whoa. is made of stainless steel, so it's not historically accurate. Look at it, look at it, look at it. But it will prevent rust. Uh, bam, bam, there goes my camera. Yeah, this is a this is a primary primarily a parry shield, one you want to deflect with uh, wow. rather than actually stop an incoming blow. Uh, you can also uh, control point movement with your blade if you extend your arm out and you hide your blade tip behind the buckler. Okay. You can control your uh, your point. That way, your opponent doesn't exactly know where the tip of your blade is facing. Wow. So then you can come in with a thrust, you can come in with a downward cut, or a upward sweat, wow. or even a raking tactic, which is where you bring the blade down and wow. it forward. So, it serves its benefit. Now I have a question for you. Are you going to go home wearing all this? Like stop at the gas station, get snacks, or get something to eat tonight wearing all this? I wear it as much as I can. Out to eat, to the movies. Do you, you ever get any looks? Oh, all the time. The other one is a full suit from head to toe, so that one's a little more elaborate. <laughs> wow. But it requires a lot of help putting on. You have to have somebody to help. I wouldn't suggest falling down. No, it's very hard to get up. <laughs> uh, the breastplate goes past the waist, so you can't bend over. And wow. You better go to the bathroom before you put it on. Yikes. Well, man, it was an honor meeting you. Yeah, definitely. Take care. You too, sir. You have a great day.
thank you very much, very much. Next up, we have the 11th Doctor. Okay. Thank you. There's, there's a couple of seats right here. There's, there's some seats right here. Anything closer? To uh, the or not? No, sir. I, I'm All looking. Right, thanks, brother. All right. Hey, you here. Coming up next, we the five nights of ready security. Keep it.
dude, seriously, what are you supposed to be? Um, uh, an original character. A what? An original character. An original character? What's your character's name? Uh, the Maverick Hayato Kruger. Oh my gosh, you're awesome, dude. Thank you. Like, that is epic. That's a Nerf gun, isn't it? Yeah. It's a oh my, rifle. Oh my gosh, that's awesome, dude. You were epic. I don't have to ask, how much was your costume? Was it, uh, or was it zero? Uh, yeah. I think all together it'd probably be about like all the stuff I buy, roughly ballpark 300, 400 bucks for all the different pieces. Wow, dude, you're awesome. Yeah, thank you. Late and later, my gosh. <laughs> We just came to see what it looked like in here, so we're gonna we're gonna take off, man. But uh, it's been yeah, live. Thank you. It's oh, you're hilarious! Yeah, what? The quickest convention I've ever. Yo, the fastest way to get home just walk down the interstate. Oh, you're funny. People will recognize you. You're Tommy yeah. NC 2010. You're gonna ride. You guys wanna come out and look at the place? Okay, nope. sure. <laughs> All right, dude. Mr. I'm Satan himself. Mr. Satan, the champion. No one's gonna take this belt from me. No. Except for Goku. No. He had my help to beat Cell and beat Boo. He wanted to beat a both without me. Uh, That's for uh, Awesome. How much was your cost, dude? How uh, much? That one right there built it off. Oh, really? Yeah, too much. Awesome Blossom. You have a great day, man. Yes. I hope. Yeah. I hope you two have an awesome day. I will try. Are there any other questions you'll ask me? I am a god of mischief. Um, how much was your costume? About 70 bucks. About 70 bucks altogether? Yeah. Wow. Please. That's awesome. All this is yes. 70 bucks. Yeah. Dang. That's nice. Remember to always stay positive. Of course, you're the god of mischief. Well, you still have to be positive that you can make some mischief. <laughs> That's what you mean, right? Yeah, I know. I guess. You have a great day. You too. The Man of Steel. Yes. Sir, may I ask? I know you're kind of late to the party. What were you, sir, exactly? Huh? Uh, what was I? Uh, just uh, a horse's ass. <laughs> There's got to be a subwoofer under the table somewhere, man. All that bass that was coming through, I feel like it shook my feet, man. It's like, oh, uh, he said that one time he went to an audition, and the lady was just like, <laughs> she was shaking. He said, the camera it, showed the bass you were making. That was yeah. priceless. <laughs> well, it was like this, folks. That's about right. The yeah. poor woman was terrified. And her husband wanted to know how they were doing that technically. <laughs> and then, what are you guys doing to make his voice like that? And they said, that's all Paul. No, it sounds like you're hooked up to like a like an in-mouth microphone that has the bass turned all the way up. It's just stuff. him. Well, one director, the first time he heard that voice, he said, I thought that voice was coming out of your heels. You know, so it feels that way. You know? <laughs> oh, my God. Did, did you show any of uh, this stuff? Like... I'm, I'm, uh, I'm assuming that uh, you came by here earlier, right? Yeah, I came by here earlier. He here? actually did a promo for my channel. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, yeah, we got a little something. Two kinds. Yeah. Yes. I had to miss most of the event today because I had to work. Fashionably okay. late. <laughs> but uh, he'll be busting my balls about it for the rest of eternity. <laughs> if we do this next year, I'll give you an opportunity to get back at him because that's the way it should work. Yeah. <laughs> I like this guy. The right. last year we came, they had the guy did the voice for the uh, Power Ranger, uh, the villain that played the. Uh -huh. Yeah, he was uh, he was quite interesting. He was a really he... throaty voice, very throaty. Really throaty. You don't come and sounds like this. I will destroy the Power Rangers. Uh, <laughs> I know a lot of those actors. I never worked the show. I was asked one time to do voices on it, but I already had a job uh, booked on the day. So. Really? Do everything. Yeah. Can't do everything. Well, and that's it too. We, we do get that where uh, we are going to double book something and sometimes they can't bring us in on, let's say, a different day. Uh, 
or do it later in the day or something like that. It's not always possible, so you have to turn work down on occasion. Yeah. The biz. It's always bad. Hey man, good to meet you, Paul St. Good, good to meet you. Good to meet you, gentlemen. Tommy NC 2010. Tommy NC 2010, let's do this again next year. Can't wait. I'm just excited. Better. Time to light the fireworks and set off, set the stage. Oh, we're excited. <laughs> Positivity Entertainment, subscribe, support, stay positive. Keeping you on the inside fact. So excited. So folks, I'm going to end this vlog off and uh, thank you so much for enjoying this. What? What? I said so much for the We'll shoot a separate video. What are you talking about? My vlog. So oh. folks, as always, this has been the anime convention. It's been awesome. Everything about it. I want to say thank you to Drew for inviting me as press. Hamza being fashionably late. Stumbondi being fashionably. Stumbondi isn't. And don't call me Hamza. Call me Busta Culeando. I already told you. Busta Culeando. Busta Culeando. I'm not even in the frame anymore. Busta Culeando. No. Hey, welcome to Busta Culeando's channel. Tommy NC Busta Culeando. Stop it. So as always folks, thank you so much to Drew that runs this event and uh, this convention's been awesome. As always, I'm Tommy NC2010. I'm keeping you on the inside fact. Hey, thanks, yeah. I'm so glad you uh, introduced me to my friends out here in the YouTube universe. Yes, yeah, the Siggy Pop Hydrophonics rubbing up on Tommy's titty. I love you guys.